Good day engineers, para sa video natin na to, ang i-discuss natin will be the steps in the design of double reinforce. So, this is a continuation. This will be for steps uh, 5 to 8 nung ating uh, design of double reinforce beam. So, let's start uh, with step number 5 for this video. So, step number 5. So, galing tayo kanina ng step 4. Uh, Na-determine na natin yung maximum steel ratio and yung steel required or steel ratio required. So, yung raw required. So, kapag na-prove natin that this should be designed as double reinforced, so, syempre, magpo-proceed daw tayo dito sa step number 5. And step number 5 says that we have to determine the first steel area or AS sub 1 using the value of the maximum steel ratio. So, bakit maximum steel ratio yung kailangan gamitin in getting AS1? Remember, from our previous step, which is uh, step number 4, sabi natin doon, yung raw max natin, if lesser than or equal dun sa raw record natin sabi natin single reinforced beam and remember ang first steel area natin is nanggaling yan sa first moment diagram natin ang first moment diagram natin is coming from the single reinforced so as shown in this uh, step number 6 So, as you can see, ito lang yung moment diagram natin or stress diagram natin kapag singly reinforced tayo at hindi tayo double reinforced. So, ibig sabihin, valid yung reason bakit natin gagamitin yung maximum steel ratio for getting the value of the first steel area. Kasi nga, ang condition natin para masabi natin singly is raw max should be lesser than or equal so raw max pala sorry that is greater than or equal to our raw required so ibig sabihin dito inassume na natin na si raw maximum is equal to our raw required so that means we will get a value of AS sub 1 which is equivalent to raw max times BD. So, that will be our step number 5. So, dun nang galing bakit raw max yung ginagamit natin for AS sub 1. Next, step number 6. Determine the theoretical values of the depth of compression block by using the equilibrium equation of the first stress diagram. So, dito, para lang tayong nag-analysis ng singly reinforced beam. Kasi ang dinedetermine natin is theoretical value. Uh, dito, ang nangyayari, wala pa tayong assumption. Kasi nagde-design lang tayo. We just assume na itong beam na to is mag-yield yung tension steel niya. Pero yung compression, hindi natin sigurado kung mag-yield o hindi. But we have to determine theoretical values of A and B. Uh, of the depth of compression block A. So, to do that one, syempre ang gagamitin natin yung diagram na to as shown, which is the stress diagram or the first stress diagram. So, syempre, we will have C1 is equal to T1. And we can have a value 0.85 F'C AB is equal to AS1 and we will have a value of the uh, yield strength which is FY. FY kasi nasa design part tayo and we always say that kapag dinedesign natin yan, the tension still always yields. So, dito ang required natin is yung depth of compression block. So, we have A is equal to AS1 FY divided by 0.85 F prime C B Ito ngayon yung A na hinahanap natin for step number 6 So siya ngayon yung gagamitin natin 
on the next steps. So, for our step number 7, sabi dito, determine the theoretical values of the depth, the extreme compression fiber to the zero strain by the NSCP 2015 provision. So, dito papasok yung provision that A is equal to beta 1 of C. Ito clearly, sinabi naman siya sa NSCP. And arranging this term, we could get the theoretical value of the depth of the compression zone, which is equal to C, that is A, over the beta 1. So, ito na ngayon yung gagamitin nating value ng depth of the extreme compression fiber to the zero strain, or that is the depth of the neutral axis, or depth of the compression zone. Then, the last step for this video is we have to determine the first nominal moment by using the first stress diagram. So, for this part, pwede natin gamitin ngayon. It's either the compression or our tension side. Kasi, meron na tayong AS1 dito. Hindi na tayo mahihirapan katulad ng sa analysis. Sa analysis kasi kailangan mo pang kunin yan. Pero dito sa design, kinuha mo na talaga siya since required siyang kunin. Sa analysis kasi hindi naman siya required or hindi siya ganun ka-required kunin. Pero dito required siyang kunin. So, we can do a summation of moment on the compression or a summation of moment on the tension. So, if we do summation of moment on the tension side, which is equal to 0, and that will be, we can use, or we have a nominal moment, M nominal, kasi nominal lahat ng nakukuha natin sa stress diagram. So, that will be nominal moment is equal to a value. So, that is positive. So, it is now equal to C1 times D minus A over 2. And our C1 will correspond to MN is equal to 0.85 f prime c a b times d minus a over 2 pwede rin natin kunin on our tension side so let's sum up moments on the compression side so summing up moments on the compression side which is equal to mn so that will be a value mn is equal to t1 times d minus A over 2. Then we can have the nominal moment as a value equivalent to AS1. Siyempre, we will be having FY kasi this is the sign. So, we assume always that tension still yields times D minus A over 2. So, we can either use the 2 Either of the two, so ito, let's make this one as red, and, and also, ito. Palitan lang natin. So, yan ngayon yung ating nominal moment capacity or this is the first nominal moment. So, this will be MN1. Kasi that is the first, coming from the first stress diagram. So, that will be all for our steps 5 to 8 for the design 
of double reinforced beam. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.